Hello everybody, this is Michael Lee. Today's video, I'm on my lunch break right now from work, working on the uh, 45 acre property that's down the hill from the 75 acre sheep ranch I uh, started on. So, still in the Helltown Centerville area. So this video is gonna be about uh, how to replace your trimmer line on your Husqvarna 525 RX trimmer and brush cutter. Got the machine set up in the vise here. And I've found that that's the best way uh, to do it. <clears throat> and then when you actually go to start replacing your line, you want to find your trimmer head, press in on the indentations and pull off. That's what it looks like. Take out the white plastic disc that's on the inside. Now remember what you're doing as you take the stuff apart, right? Because you got to put it back together. Make sure you memorize where things go. This thing goes on the bottom, and then this goes on top of it, fits inside with the holes on the top. Do not put this thing back in like that. It's not going to work. Put it in like that, okay? Now, take your disc, get your trimmer line. I use Echo, even though I run a Husqvarna, I run Echo trimmer line because I think it cuts better, sharper. It's got like these edges on it where his Husqvarna is, Husqvarna is round. So here's what you want to do. You want to go <clears throat> one, two, three, four. Four big arm lengths of line. Take your snips, cut the line. Now, this is the important part. Take your hand on one end, take your other hand to the other end of your trimmer line. Place both ends. This is my, this is your, uh, this is my right hand. Okay. So I have both ends in my right hand. Now go to the middle of the line. Find the middle of your line. There it is. Loop it around your index finger. Put your index finger between the two lines. Grab your white disc. Do you see the big notch? Not the little notch, the big notch right there. See it? Put your line in that notch. Keep your index finger positioned between the line and rotate. See how I'm winding it? There's the divider in the middle. Make sure you have one on one side, one on the other. Go all the way. Keep it going. Dude, at this point, try not to drop it because it's going to ruin your day. Focus. Dang, it's hot today. All right. Now, I'm getting close to the end, so I got to focus here. Right there. You take one line and you put it into the hole. See how that, did you hear that? How it snapped in? Now I've got one more to go. Continue. And then when you get to the next small notch, not the big notch where we started, these are the smaller notches, then here's the critical part. Don't drop your line now or you're going to ruin your day. See that? Send it through the notch, through the hole. 
and then you can let go. And there it is. That's what you want right there. Now, remember how to put this thing back together. You guys still remember how it goes? With the holes up on the top, right? So you line them up with where the line's actually going to be coming out. Line it up, push in, and then take your your trimmer line and hi pull it in there. Same with the other side. Can you see? Wish I was rich and I could just hire someone to film everything for me. Ready? One, two, three. Hi -ya! Now, you see these? Those are those indentations that we pressed on initially to get this thing off. Now we gotta put line these back up and put it back on. Hi! Ah! Ha ha! And that's how it's done. Right? So, uh, it's not that hard. It's just a pain in the butt, right? Because you're in the middle of your work shift and it's like, oh, I'm out of trimmer line and you gotta, you know, take the time to re-spool it again. It's actually very similar to uh, fishing. If anyone's uh, uh, a fisherman or a fisherwoman, this will, that, that uh, fishing will probably make this a lot easier for you. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I guess make sure it spins. And that's how you do it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Yep.